Hi, I'm Perry from carbonfiberpoles.asia and I'm going to explain to you about running the tube internal or external for high reach water fed pole work. Now I've always been a great fan of leaving the tube external but I want to share with you when to leave it internal and there's a couple of times. One if you're feeding through trees and no matter what height that often the tube can get uh, tangled and it becomes your discretion at that point. But certainly if you're working at four storeys, um, then running the tube internal makes sense. So if you've got a 45 foot reach pull apart pole, one of the things you'll know that as soon as you put the tube on the inside, you can't pull your pole apart anymore. So you're gonna do the four storey work first. And I wanna show you just quickly how to feed the tube into your pole. It's no big deal. A lot of the suppliers you know, say the pole, that all poles come with a tube but you can use this at your discretion. All you do is push it in through. We've got an angled hole in the, uh, in the head there, so it's very easy to, to push the tube through, and you just push it through the top until you see it coming out the bottom of the pole. So whilst it takes a few seconds, once you've done that, you can actually normally just pull it through the pole quite quickly and I've kept it for the purpose of the demonstration because you don't want to see me pull 30 metres through uh, what I've got here is just pull it through to this point here and then all it is then is joining the tube doing the four storey work at the end of the four storey work if you did want to uh, pull the pole apart oh one thing I did miss by the way just, you know, we've got the end cap, um, again, you can either have the end cap on uh, when you're doing that, or just quickly thread the end cap through the, through the tube and bring it back up to the pole. So, if we've done the four storey work, and then we want to pull the pole apart, so now we want the tube on the outside, then it's very simple, just pull it, the tube off there, and whether you feed it through so that it's easy, pull the tube out of your pole, and then we'd come back to the pole, and the rest of the work we'd do normally is just by putting the tube straight onto the brush like that. Now, the way that works, some people talk to me about you know, holding onto the, the tube against the pole, so I'm just going to take the smallest section out, even though I'm really talking about doing three and story, two story work. But when you're in a room you can't do that. So sometimes, if you watch this here, sometimes you want to take control of the tube. Um, take it off the building, or you just want some more control. And all, everybody in the industry, right, that uses the tube on the outside knows just simply that, that if you can twist that pole, the tube will come back down the pole, come away from the glass, uh, and, and also the, where the tube is running is you know, along the front of the building there. The reason why I always say is that the tube is better off dropping from the brush or just away from the brush to the ground is that now all your running hoses, all your tubing is running close to the building rather than the traditional way is that it's running behind the operator and then when the guy's working, especially at the high work where he's using his legs more than his arms, then he's always feeling the tube, worrying, his brain is actually on the ground instead of, when you do it this way, I can promise you, your whole focus is there. If you do feel something under your feet, you know that you can. So once you've got the tube on the outside of the pole, you can then obviously keep the, the brush on the pole and you can use the pole completely as a, as a, as a pull apart pole. So, there's absolutely no change for me with that brush. Whoops, my bad. In changing the length of the pole. Yeah. So now you can take the choice. You can feed the pole internally, the tube internally, if you want, or you can run it externally. And I'll just talk very quickly. Sometimes we supply this, or people ask for this type of tubing. It's the uh, it's a heavier uh, type of piping with a thinner ID. Um, it's personal choice. Yes, from an oh &S point of view, you can see it on the ground. I think that's more relevant when it's running behind you. It's a heavier tube, um, so from a perspective of 
running the tube outside, then the lighter the tube is, the less weight it's pulling down on the, on the brush. So as a rule, we supply the clear tube. Um, occasionally, we have stock of this that we can buy cheap, or um, somebody's asked for it, so we just use up the rest of it. Yep. So this is Perry from carbonfiberpoles.asia.